Welcome to Dr. Rajkumar's Learning App. Today we will be discussing about green hydrogen. Green hydrogen has been in news of late and is a very very important concern right now in the world. So what is this green hydrogen? Well, we know that hydrogen is the lightest element in the world, right? And hydrogen is available widely and abundantly on earth in the form of water and fossil fuel hydrocarbons. But in atmosphere, as an individual, the H2 gas is not widely available. It is only present for 0.00005%. Atmosphere just consists of 0.00005% of hydrogen. And this hydrogen has very wide uses. That is why everyone in the world is racing to create hydrogen plants where we can manufacture this hydrogen. Why? And how are they doing this? Well, let's explore. We have different colors of hydrogen, grey, green, blue, purple, turquoise, brown, yellow, white. Why so many colors? Well, the colors signify the production of hydrogen and the electricity source. For example, when you take grey hydrogen, it signifies that the source of electricity is from methane or coal and it is produced by gasification and other colors of hydrogen like blue blue hydrogen again blue hydrogen is also produced with gasification by carbon capture right 85 to 95 percent of carbon is captured and gasified and the source has been the nuclear power for blue hydrogen and for purple we have the source as nuclear power itself again but as you can see it is produced by electrolysis whereas in blue it was gasification in purple it is electrolysis as you can see, it's based on the production and source. Coming to turquoise hydrogen, it is based on pyrolysis and the source is methane. Brown, it is again gasification but the source is coal. Right? Yellow hydrogen, again, the source is renewable and fossil fuels both. Remember this, it is renewable and fossil fuels both, whereas production is by electrolysis using grid electricity. And white hydrogen, is a byproduct of industrial processes. The source is very rare as we see that there is only 0.00005% of hydrogen in the atmosphere. That is why white hydrogen is very expensive. Now coming to the topic green hydrogen. It is also produced by electrolysis and the source is renewable electricity. Now why is green hydrogen gaining so much of significance? In the case of green hydrogen, we find that to produce hydrogen, we are using renewable energy, mainly wind and solar, right? Wind and solar. And this renewable energy powers the electrolysis process. What happens in this electrolysis process is we keep two electrodes, oxygen and hydrogen electrodes in water and a membrane is kept to separate them and we find that due to electrolysis hydrogen gas is separated from the water right and this hydrogen is safely stored in tanks and they are transported so that they can be used for various purposes as shown thereby if you observe the process there is zero carbon emissions this is the goal the complete process has zero carbon emissions and is completely eco-friendly whereby we are not emitting any carbon to the atmosphere. This is why it is called as green hydrogen. The term green is used to signify this that the process is completely carbon free. Coming to the next part that is uses of green hydrogen. What is the use of green hydrogen? First one as we see is energy storage. Now, you guys might be wondering, why are we using hydrogen for energy storage? We are using renewable electricity to again manufacture hydrogen. Why don't we supply this renewable energy itself? Why do we have to give hydrogen for energy purposes? Well, you have certain limitations when you come with respect to renewable energy. When you see the solar energy and the wind energy is not available throughout the day, the sun sets after 5 to 6 in the evening and we find that solar energy is not available in the night and when you see the case of wind energy the blades of the turbine will not keep rotating throughout the day there are variations that is why when we have good weather conditions we can use 
this solar and wind energy to manufacture hydrogen and store them whereby it becomes easier to tap electricity using hydrogen we find that fuel cells are having wide application fuel cells are being used to power up vehicles you find that hyundai is manufacturing large scale fuel cell cars and it is going to become the next source of energy for automobiles right the other use of hydrogen is it is used in industries which are requiring large scale fossil hydrogen example ammonia in the manufacture of ammonia you need large scale hydrogen which we are obtaining from the fossil fuels right now with the use of green hydrogen we can replace this and thereby reduce the emissions due to the fossil hydrogen that's taking place as of now and ammonia as we know is a very very important component for fertilizers in india most of the fertilizers especially urea is manufactured with the help of ammonia this again helps us to boost carbon free production of ammonia or fertilizers this is the second most important use of hydrogen coming to the third part sustainable mobility as i just discussed we find that hydrogen is used in the manufacture of fuel cells which are powering up many vehicles the future is where we'll find that green hydrogen is being used to power mining vehicles trains aircrafts lorries buses and even maritime transport this is the most important uses of green hydrogen now coming to the benefits if we adopt green hydrogen we find that it will account for 20% of the electricity by 2050 and the production will reduce co2 emissions by 6 gigatons that is extremely huge and we find that 20% of the global temperature can be limited by just using green hydrogen as a source of energy this is the benefits of using green hydrogen coming to the challenges what are the challenges we are facing in the production of green hydrogen well the production costs are huge as of now as it is a nascent industry see whenever new industries begin they are always we find that expensive the products are expensive because it is just the beginning of a industry and since it's a nascent industry the production costs are huge secondly optimizing its storage we studied that hydrogen has a very important use that is energy storage but how do we optimize the storage storage is becoming expensive this is another challenge that we are trying to surmount and make hydrogen affordable for the people and the third most important is deploying minimal infrastructure why because we find that not all regions have solar and wind energy and you need to transport this renewable electricity across to these hydrogen power plants this has become a challenge wheeling of electricity is the challenge to these power plants remember this word wheeling we use the word wheeling to signify transport of electricity from one region to another region well let's take an example in this case let's take the case of india you see rajasthan we have rajasthan and gujarat right in these parts we have large scale solar and wind energy if i want to transport solar and wind energy to northeast india how will i do it it's going to be very expensive if we are going to transport it all the way from rajasthan to northeast india via regular transport this is a major factor which is limiting the production of green hydrogen look at the global scenario you find that there is a global target of 1.45 million production of green hydrogen by 2023 is a global target in this case and now when we come to india what's happening in india well we find that in india every year india consumes 5.5 million tons of fossil hydrogen we are using 5.5 million tons of fossil hydrogen for two purposes one is for manufacture of fertilizers especially ammonia and second in the petrochemical industries it is used to manufacture petroleum products this is the main use of fossil hydrogen in india now what steps have india taken to become you know hydrogen rich or let's say green hydrogen rich well recently india joined the hydrogen club there are a total of 16 countries as of now which are investing 
in green hydrogen and india has joined this club as you can see in the map those countries are outlined most of the european countries are involved in development of green hydrogen energy and india has joined the club and china leads the pack with maximum amount of green hydrogen being produced by china so what has india done so what steps have india taken well the government has launched the national hydrogen energy mission now what is this national hydrogen energy mission well in the national hydrogen energy mission the government plans to set up hydrogen manufacturing power plants and thereby increase its energy production through renewable resources and green resources why does india have such a huge edge in green hydrogen well owing to the favorable geographic conditions and abundant natural elements we find that india is placed in a very good location whereby it can tap the green hydrogen very easily and there is a large focus right now on the production of energy using green hydrogen due to the advantages we just saw it also helps india in trying to reach the ambitious goal of 175 gigawatt by 2022 as a result the government has allotted 1500 crore for renewable energy development and has launched the national hydrogen mission this much amount of money is being poured for the development of green energy using hydrogen coming to the benefits for india what is the use for india well it boosts the vision of atmanirbhar bharat india becomes self reliant by using green hydrogen how we find that 90% of the fossil fuels are being imported every year and the fossil fuels is powering 80% of energy consumption in india with the help of green hydrogen we can reduce the use of fossil fuels and thereby reduce even our import cover and become self reliant in the production of electricity that is we can become atmanirbhar in producing electricity and the best result of this is there is also reduced carbon emissions carbon emissions is a major factor for global warming and we know the effects of global warming that is why we have signed the paris climate agreement whereby we have come up with commitments that we'll start moving towards green energy by 2030 almost 450 gigawatt of current electricity that is produced in india will be green energy and green hydrogen is going to play a very very vital role in achieving this now what has happened as a result of this commitment well we find that many green energy plants that is green hydrogen plants are coming up in india if you can see these are the places where green hydrogen plants have come up one is in run of kutch and this is both by the government and the private players like reliance who is investing in green energy plant in jamnagar hazira where lnt are investing ioc indian oil corporation who are manufacturing in mathura in their mathura refinery complex they're setting up green hydrogen plants vindhyachal ntpc vijaypur ntpc and we find that many more private companies like dadani group are coming forward and investing in making green hydrogen plants because we know that green hydrogen is the future so this was about the importance of green hydrogen for more such updates please download our app and subscribe to our youtube channel thank you